Hi, my name is Ava and I have a passion for sewing and crafting. Join me on my journey as I learn how to sew and create my dream wardrobe from scratch. So grab a cup of tea and let's unleash our creativity and make something beautiful. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm in dire need to bring summer back into my life or at least into my wardrobe. So today I'm going to be making a reformation inspired flowy summer dress. Let's get sewing. I've had this pattern for a while now. My teacher actually drafted it for me and I tried to retrace my steps and recreate it so that I can show you and also teach myself in the process. Draw a straight line. Then measure the distance from the top of the shoulder to where you want your neckline to sit. Next measure from the shoulder to the bust point and draw a line there. Measure from the shoulder to the waistline. For me, it's about two centimeters above the belly button. Mark the bust point on the middle line. It's the distance between the bust points divided by two. On the same line, mark the bust measurement divided by four plus two centimeters for movement. Next, measure above the bust where the top of the bodice is gonna sit. Divide this measurement by four and add three centimeters for the dart. Measure the waistline. Again, divide this by 4 and add 2 cm for the dart. Draw a straight line down from the bust point and then a slanted line about 65 degrees upwards. Next, make a point 5 cm down from the neckline. For lack of a better word, I'm gonna call it the armpit point. Add the bust dart 3 cm in total and then add the waist dart, which is two centimeters in total. Next, I'm adding two centimeters at the bottom hem. Connect all the points like so. After that, refine the lines and the front bodice is done. For the back, Draw a line as long as the side of the front bodice. Again, take the measurement above the bust divided by 4 and add 2 cm. Draw another line like so and mark the waist circumference divided by 4 plus 2 cm for movement. Because I only want the center to be sheared, I'm dividing the back pattern approximately in half and then extending the center part by 50%. I'm also marking which seam allowances I'm gonna add to each seam. Here are the bodice pieces cut out and I'm using the same fabric for the shell and the lining and I'm sewing them right sides together. I added fusible interfacing to the top hem of the lining piece and I just stay stitched the shell piece to prevent it from stretching out. Next, I attach the side pieces to the front bodice right sides together. These are the pieces that are going to be sheared and I saw them right sides together and stitched all around to prevent the layers from shifting as this fabric was super slippery and hard to work with. I marked lines one centimeter apart. Don't worry, these will fade with heat. The shearing process was super frustrating and my machine was not behaving, was not cooperating, and I kept readjusting the bobbin tension for about an hour. Fortunately, everything turned out great and we were back on track. I'm not going into too much detail here, but I might do another video showing how it works. Next, I cut three centimeter wide pieces for the straps. Mine were about 40 centimeters long, but I wished I made them a little longer. I sew them right sides together and flipped with a loop turner. Now it's time to assemble the bodice. 
The bodice pieces are right sides together and I'm sewing the top seam shut and sandwiching in the straps in the process. And now for the back panels. The right side of the shirt panel is facing the right side of the shell and the wrong side of the shirt panel is facing the right side of the lining. I hope this makes sense. When turned to the right sides it looks like this and I also understitched the top hem. Now I'm drafting the skirt pattern. I draw a straight line 73 centimeters long which is the length of my skirt. Next, I draw a line at the top and mark the waist measurement divided by 4. I add 2 cm for the dart and 2 cm for the seam allowance. I also mark the darts, which are 10 cm long and 2 cm wide. I measure the distance from the waistline to the hip and draw a line there. On this line, I mark the hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 cm for the movement and 2 cm for the seam allowance. Next, I draw a line at the bottom hem. I make a mark which is the hip measurement plus 15 cm. I measure 1.5 cm from the waistline and make a curved line. At the bottom, I draw a parallel line 4 cm upwards and make a curved line here too. I connect the markings at the side. I want my skirt to be slightly flared at the bottom, but tighter fitting at the hips, so this is the shape I'm going with. Then I draw a straight line from the dart down, and this is gonna be the slit. I'm cutting all the pieces for the skirt on the bias. And yes, I totally forgot to cut the back pieces separately to accommodate for the zipper. Fortunately, I added enough seam allowance and still had just enough fabric to divide it in half. Then, I cut the pattern down the slit line and cut the front pieces out separately. Next, I finished the darts and overlocked all the raw edges on all four skirt pieces. I measured how long I want my slit to be and then sewn the seam just until that point. Then I sewed all the pieces together, leaving just the back opened. Next, I attached the bodice to the skirt, making sure the top seams align with the darts of the skirt. I sewed it together and overlocked the raw hem. I added fusible interfacing to the parts of the seams where my zipper is gonna go. And then I added the invisible zipper. Next, I finished all the seams, folding them half a centimeter inwards. This fabric was incredibly difficult to work with and kept slipping and stretching. That's why I'm using strips of tissue paper to help it feed through the machine. You just rip it away like this after sewing and you're left with beautiful straight seams. And here is the finished dress. This was so much more challenging than I anticipated but I'm very happy with the outcome. If you'd like to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy sewing!